Pupils from Ralim Preparatory School in the Mother City have dipped into their creative skills to offer a glimpse of sunshine to COVID-19 patients admitted at the Cape Town Convention Center facility. This is through the Hospital of Hope Rainbow Initiative where they created 862 rainbow drawings to be put up above each of the beds at the center. And to tell us more about this, we are joined by Marcia Ungara. She is an arts teacher and with her is the parent that initiated the idea yeah, Nicola Lochner. Now, ladies, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning. Good morning. Nicola, I'm going to start with you. Hey, uh, I understand that you're the one that initiated the idea for this project. Take us through how that idea came about. Right. Um, the reason why it came about was because I watched a documentary on Netflix um, regarding the Ebola virus right at the start of the coronavirus pandemic. And I was inspired, or should I say moved, by how the patients were put into isolation, into these bare clinical type surroundings and left alone to try and fight the this awful deadly virus. Mm. And how minutes turned into Day, you know, turned into hours, turned into days, and they just had to fight this virus completely on their own and with nothing to inspire them, no family or friends contacting them. And uh, I was really moved by that. And so when the coronavirus hit the shores of South Africa and started slowly climbing and uh, there was news of quarantine facilities being built in Johannesburg and in Cape Town and so forth, I thought maybe there's a way that we can make it a little bit of a more colourful and warm place for people um, to heal and to get better and keep going. And um, yeah, so I thought perhaps let me contact uh, Rallon, uh, which, where, which is where my son goes to school, and uh, see if they would be interested in doing the rainbow painting because the rainbow painting is obviously a significant um, icon of uh, COVID-19 and uh, it's a symbol of thanks to the first uh, of first line workers so the nurses and all that uh, and yeah Colleen was absolutely who's the head of uh, Valum she was absolutely enthralled and um, she put me in contact with uh, Marsha as well as Paul and uh, together we um, decided to get all the kids involved and then I decided to contact uh, the Western Cape government so I got in contact with the deputy man uh, mayor of uh, Cape Town through Joy McCarthy, uh, who is the ward councillor of Tableview. And yes, she put me in contact with Joy McCarthy, who then put me in contact with Ian Nielsen, who then put me in contact uh, with uh, Ulrich, who was, uh, who is the member of the architectural team in charge of signage for the CTICC. And uh, we all got together and decided to make magic happen. You know, Nicola, this is an uh, absolutely brilliant initiative. I mean, um, it's a great catalyst of showing solidarity, of showing compassion and love, uh, especially to those who are infected and affected by coronavirus. Marsha, let me also bring in you into this conversation. Uh, do you want to take us through the, the, the students that took part in this initiative, how they were chosen and what brief did you give them? Okay, um, good morning, everyone. Um, so basically when they phoned me, we were left with a time span of about six days. So we had to push this out quite quickly, but we were so excited about this. And at the moment we were running a, a social, an online platform um, because of um, the lockdown that were working quite sufficiently. So I've decided to use that platform and we, in, we introduced it to the whole school, which is about 25 classes. And then um, they received it digitally. And what I did was I designed a template 
for each class, which was like a start template. And the reason for that being is that um, the kids that were not so confident in their drawing abilities, they had something to start with because we wanted to get everybody involved, no matter what their ability. And um, by the end of the day, there were almost 400 kids that took part. And some of them drew multiple rainbows. They absolutely loved it. And then we managed to, to produce 862 drawings, which was then one for each hospital bed at the Hospital of Hope. And you made the drawings in just six days. Jeez, man, how did, you, how did the school manage to coordinate so many drawings in such a short space of time? Um, I don't think that at the moment of time we were thinking about how we we're going to manage this. We started as soon as we could and we pushed it out. And I think it was an absolute team. It was the teamwork of everybody involved, whether it might be the parents or the kids or just the person helping with laminating those drawings. So we, we started, we put our heart and soul into it and we managed to produce that amount of pictures. Okay. Nicola, let me also rope you in. Can we expect to see more of these projects going forward, even post the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, it was just an individual initiative, um, but I hope uh, to inspire other schools to do the same because there are plenty of these uh, facilities around South Africa and not just for this COVID-19 but also just general in for hospitals in uh, poverty-stricken areas that could definitely do with some brightening up. Um, you know there's as an individual you may not be able to um, help financially uh, by supplying medical goods or whatever the case may be. But especially if you want to get involved with your children or as a school or as a family, you make a difference uh, in hospitals or in um, yeah, quarantine-type facilities, then this is the way forward. Yeah, you know, sure. Just get in contact with whoever it is in charge of that mun municipality and see whether or not you can get this initiative going. I mean... Uh, it did take a little bit of funding from people and the school and whatnot, but, it, you know, it wasn't exactly a massive dent in the pocket, so to say. It just took a lot of teamwork um, and pushing and cooperation from everyone. Mm. Yeah, sure. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be financial. Every bit helps. Every bit counts. Whatever is it that you can do to contribute uh, to the cause will go a long way and will make a huge difference in the fight against uh, coronavirus and, you know, also taking care of those who've been affected uh, by this virus. So what's your sense of how this project was accepted or received? I um, was actually blown away by how excited everyone was. Mm and how quickly everyone responded to the initiative. So mm -hmm. I kind of thought uh, this is going to be in a mission impossible to get this out. And it was just a, literally a fantasy. But uh, with luckily, man I managed to sneak into people's little hearts and, uh, and yeah, people climbed on board. So everyone hopped on. Everyone was excited, and um, okay. especially from the Western Cape government. Okay. Uh, we were very pleasantly surprised by how excited they became, and okay. uh, which inspired us as a as a school um, to go forward and push on. Right, right. And they gave us very clear deadlines. They were very um, clear and concise with exactly the type of material we need to use, by when it needs to be done, um, uh, how they were going to come collect the goods from us. They organized the volunteers um, to put everything up, and they were all go, go, go. So uh, they were very, very organized. Um, which short, also unfortunately, then helped we us don't have much time. Going. And uh, but then, beautiful conversation we've, we've been having. And uh, you ladies are simply amazing. Thank you so much for the great work that you're doing. You know, just touching a single life uh, will make will definitely make a huge difference uh, in our social fabric. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having us. 
All right. Well, Joining us you. from Cape Town, there is Rallim Prep School arts teacher Marcia Ungara and parent Nicola Lochner speaking to us about their Hospital of Hope Rainbow Initiative that offers a glimmer of hope for COVID-19 patients at the Cape Town International Convention Centre. We'll take a quick break. We'll have more in a moment. This is Morning Live.